Hi, my name is Tom Prowse and I'm a Data School Consultant at the Information Lab. In this session, I will discuss how to pivot your data from columns to rows. This is a common technique used within Excel to transform your data and is really simple in tab Tableau Prep. The data that I'll be using is based on product sales. So as you can see, we have a column for product and then all of our other fields are the daily sales broken down by each day. So sometimes this is great because we want to see our, each individual column as a different day, but sometimes we want all of our days in a single column. So to do this, we can use the pivot tool. To find the pivot tool, click on the plus at the end of the clean step, and then from the drop down menu, you will see the pivot. Now from here, we have a few different options. The first one is columns to rows or rows to columns. We're going to use columns to rows. We now want to pivot all of our days into a single column. So therefore we can select all of our days by holding down shift and then drag these into the pivoted field section. As you can see here, we now have a column for which day it is, one for our sales, then also our product as well. Now this is great because we've only had five, five days but if there was lots of days, or maybe in the future our data would be updated to day six, then day six would not be brought into the pivoted fields. Therefore, if I just press back at the moment, we can use to overcome this when the data is updating, we can use the wildcard search to pivot. So if I click on this link, you see a slightly different um, view where we have this search bar here. Now the search bar is going to say, we write, write in a string and like, and it's going to find how many fields with that string. So in my case, I'm going to write day. And then on the three dots here, you can choose contains, starts with, or ends with. So all of my fields start with the word day. So I'm going to click starts with. As you can see, this has automatically brought all of my five days in, and this will continue to happen when the data is updated with extra days as well. Another example of when you would want to pivot is if you've got multiple metrics going along within different days. As you can see here, we've still got our sales data, but we've also got quantity data as well. Again, this is broken down by day. Again, we want to bring in a pivot field, but this time we've got pivots and we've got lots of different fields. So first we want to use the wildcard search to do a sales again. This time I'm going to write sales. and then press enter. Notice how all of my sales are now into a single column. But now I don't want to put my quantity into the same column, so I can use this plus button here. This allows me to bring in a set second metric, which I can use on the wildcard again. And then this time within the search, I'm going to use quantity. Press enter. And this time it brings all of my quantity metrics in. Now, if I use a new clean step, as you can see, we've got our quantity metric, our sales metric, our product, and then we have a pivot names. So this is our actual day. So we need to clean this up slightly. I can do this by pressing on the three dots and creating a new custom calculation. I'm going to call this day, and then I'm going to use a replace function. So within this, I'm going to use, use the replace to replace the word sales with just a blank string. Press save. I now have a field for my five days. I can choose the pivot names and then choose to remove this field. If I wanted to, I could double click to update my titles. So I've got quantity, I have sales, and I've got my four metrics with, sorry, my four fields with my two metrics in an individual column. For more information on how to use the pivot tool, take a look at the Prep and Data blog post where the link is in the description. This goes into great detail and gives you a few more different techniques. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and you can also take a look at our related video on how to pivot from rows to columns.